In December 2016, hundreds of high school students from around the world gathered in Hong Kong for a global competition. These students were the top math talents from their countries, participating in one of the world's most prestigious events, the Mathematical Olympiad. Among them was a team from one of the world's most secretive and secluded countries, North Korea. Six young men stepped forward, dressed in white dress shirts and black pants, with loyalty badges of the Kims pinned over their hearts. Among them was Jong Yul Ri, visibly more anxious than his peers. While his teammates smiled, Jong Yul kept glancing to the side, worried about something far more important than solving equations. His freedom. Jong Yul Ri's story starts in a small town in North Korea. Jong was lucky enough to be born into a relatively well-off family, which meant he didn't face the extreme hardships many North Koreans endure. Jong's father saw potential in him and played an important role in supporting his early education. Unlike many children who are forced into hard manual labor or military training, Jong had the rare chance to focus on academics, particularly mathematics. His father would make him practice multiplication tables every single day before he could go play. These early years paid off when Jong, at just 12 years old, won a special prize in a national mathematics competition, beating much older students and catching the eye of top educational representatives in the North Korean 